Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I've got the 22LR chambered CZ Varmint MTR, or Match Target Rifle, back out here again today. Now I've already did a review on this rifle. If you want to see the review, I'll have it linked in the description so you can check there if you want to, if you want to see what the rifle is all about. But today, I'm going to keep it simple. Just going to shoot some groups with this Ely 10X ammo. In the review I did, I was using SK ammunition which performed very well but I got a lot of recommendations for me to try a match ammo and a lot of people said that this was really good stuff I've never shot Ely 10x before I've heard it's great it has a very waxy lube on the bullet Let's see if you guys can see that so I did go ahead before the video here and shot 25 rounds through the rifle just to season the bore to the different lube the sk uses kind of an oily lube and this is more of a wax so i wanted to shoot all the sk lube out and get it seasoned to this ely lube i think i did that got one inch targets i'm going to put five of these up and shoot five five shot groups then we'll take an average and see what the average group size is from that. I think that's the best way to do it. I could sit here and shoot all this ammunition and just show you guys the best group. And, you know, it's kind of fun to do that, to see the best group being shot. But also, I think, you know, in in trying to keep stuff real and, and giving people that may be looking at this gun an honest look at it, I want to show the bad groups along with the good. So we'll shoot five groups and then uh, take an average from that. Uh, just a reminder, this rifle is bone stock. I haven't done anything to it. The only thing I did was adjust the trigger down as low as I could get it to go, but haven't changed anything out. It hasn't had any accuracy enhancements or anything like that. Added the Cytron 36 power scope and the Area 419 reel. That's all I've done to it. So, that being said, let's rock and roll. I'll go ahead and put the targets up and we'll set the camera up and shoot some groups. All right, I've got the target set up at exactly 50 yards. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to shoot this first group in real time, then I'll speed the other four up because I know watching someone shoot groups can get quite boring.
So now we'll speed through these other four. All right, so we'll measure those up and see what we averaged. All right, so that's the Ely 10X test in the CZ Varmint MTR. Didn't do quite as good as I had hoped, but it was pretty consistent. Now, just because the ammunition is really pricey or just because it works really well in your rifle doesn't mean it'll work real well in another. Uh, 22 LRs are very finicky about ammos they like and they don't so keep that in mind This is my target. I went ahead and Measured it and done all the math so I don't have to try to figure stuff up here on camera, but I averaged 0 0.580 if I average all five of these groups together I have one out of 25 shots. I have one what I would call a flyer and that was probably me it probably wouldn't even the ammo it was probably me so if I subtracted that one shot out of 25 and only counted the 24 that would have brought my average down to under a half an inch or MOA so that one shot would have changed it from being an average of 580 to an average of 493 thousandths of an inch. So that's the real, that's real world stuff. You know, that's just me out here shooting off the bench. I could have warmed up a little more than what I did and tried to settle in a little better than what I did. But I think it's a good representation of what this rifle will do out of the box. The trigger is still pulling about three pound 12 ounces three pound 14 ounces somewhere in that area so i'm i'm going to look into getting a lighter trigger spring i know yo dave makes a lighter trigger spring but uh, surely there's something that's a 15 dollars spring for it something that looks like it came out of a big lighter so i'm going to try to find something a little cheaper than that and stick it in here if i can't i'll i'll go ahead and spend the 15 bucks and get the yo dave spring but I do need to lighten that trigger up if I'm going to be bench testing ammo. I can feel me I can feel me moving the gun when I pull that trigger. Not making excuses, I'm just saying I think I could do better than this and that gives me something uh, something to work on. So I am going to eventually do that to the rifle. But that's what I got with the Ely 10X. Not much better in my mind than I got with the SK standard. 
I shot some really good groups with the SK standard. Now I did have the occasional flyer that may have caused the average to go up higher than this. I don't know. I'd have to sit down and do the exact same test with that ammo. Would you guys be interested in seeing me do this exact same test with different ammos out of this rifle? You know, you guys suggest the ammo. I will try my best to find it. Ammo's hard to find right now. But I've got uh, I've got several different kinds already that I can go ahead and do the same test. Shoot five groups, see what they average. And then we can figure out what this thing likes. If it's not something you're interested in, that, that's fine too. We can move on, move on to something else. But that's all I got for now. And I'll talk with y'all again soon.